Hey, what's going on guys? Comicagains here. So I finally managed to scrape the master database from World CNC Federation and uh, store it uh, into different formats in the traditional, using the traditional Chinese characters as well as within the international. Also, I'm working, I'm now working to convert this to so-called UCI format to be able to load this into my CNC engine. Uh, and the game viewer that I'm currently working on, it's not yet right out there but i want the games from world cnc federation to be able to be viewed in this sort of an interface that i've created so here we just can play chess uh sorry i meant not, not, not exactly this mode but doesn't matter we can also solve puzzles here and uh a part of this we will also have an ability to view the games because uh the way they uh, allow us to do this is a little bit of a previous century uh, so we'll st we'll stay we'll make the move list so all the stuff so let me just try and explain the idea so here we have really lots of games in really lots of pages uh, I don't know where is the pagination here uh, oh so here is just yeah but anyway uh, I was scraping using the ID so we have around 43,000 uh, game records in total and for every game record we have kind of like the event who plays red who plays white uh, who plays black and the move list well unfortunately uh, world sense federation doesn't seem to be providing uh, game results and some additional PGN heaters uh, at some point I don't know maybe I was just wasn't looking that great for that but anyway, uh, it seems like all this data is sourced from a site that is called dpxq.com. So if we go to dpxq.com, uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, oh my God. Yes, translate, please. So here it seems like uh, there are even more games and they seem to be, uh, so uh, where is, uh okay doesn't matter so I, i've just seen lots of games here so it seems like the database is available here as well i might be wrong though but anyway so it's not a problem to uh extract the additional game data from pgn heater uh, to to add that to pgn heaters in case if that data is available so what i've done uh so far so i've scraped uh all the html pages uh uh so uh, here we have an iframe and within the iframe we have a specific encoded data that stores the position uh, in correlation uh, to this diagram to, to this app which is called uh, well this is, a, this is a CNC viewer but uh, I don't remember the exact name but anyway what I wanted to show you that eventually eventually here is just a sample that I have here so this is how the PGN looks like so this is the international variation of the PGN. So uh, I'm not sure what you guys, you what kind of software you guys use in China in order to read this stuff. Uh, I, I I couldn't install uh, none of the n none of the that software like CC Breach or whatever. I don't know first uh, because probably doesn't run uh, uh, via Wine on my Linux system and maybe some other reasons. I don't know. So let me know what do you think regarding this uh, format. Is this okay to be fed to your GUI? And also, hold on a sec, it seems like, yeah, I need to regenerate data a little bit because, um, yeah, it seems a little bit of an issue, so we don't have a space, I've just noticed this. Okay, that's not a, that's not a big deal, that's just a matter of seconds. Uh, I will regenerate the data, and the, the, this would be fine. I'll, I'll fix this, I'm sorry, uh, I'll fix this, so it should be, should be like space here. Uh, but doesn't matter really so here here is the sample for uh, here is the sample for uh, international and here is the sample for traditional notation yeah the same stuff I just need to add this little spaces uh, yeah uh, I just just uh, uh, very simple to be s simply to be done there so yeah uh, I'll fix this and here is the traditional notation. So I'm not sure w what kind of software do you use? Uh, does it recognize this encoding or not? 
hard to say. But anyway, it seems like I found a library that kind of encodes this sort of a software to moves like H2, E2, uh, like this, or uh, G uh, or the night move. What's what was the night move? H H0 G2 things like this. So like cannon to the center, then develop in the night. Uh, and this format would have been needed for me to to actually be able to uh, view these games uh, within within the app that uh, I'm going to derive from from my engine that that I've been demonstrating. Uh, so here in order to you see, like, if, if we do make the moves, it uh, relies on this so-called UCI format. So it's not, not, not a traditional, but it should be quite pretty simple to, to convert this format to this format. Okay, and the very last thing to demonstrate is the initial data set. So initially, initially, I've downloaded, so it's just a little sample. Uh, I've already prepared the, the zip files. Uh, it's actually bigger than 39 megabytes, so the, uh, the raw HTML files, it's really kind of lots of them, it's 61 megabytes. And the output files, the PGN, the international and uh, the international and the traditional PGNs are about 53 megabytes. So it's quite, quite pretty huge files, but after being converted, they're much, much more smaller. So uh, I will I will give you the direct links to these guys. I'm not yet sure whether I'm going to be uploading this to GitHub or to Google Drive. If GitHub allows me, then definitely that would be on GitHub. If if not, then I'll upload this to Google Drive. So it's not a big deal really. Again, like yeah, I just I just really need to kick this and uh, regenerate because I've just spotted the issue with the space and in, uh, in numbers. So. Uh, I was I created a script. So first, first I've created a script to actually uh, I've used the Python scrapey framework to simply loop over all the IDs uh, for, for games within this range. So this is what I've uh, discovered manually. So from uh, index uh, ID forty one to this one. So all the games we have there, we just store in bulk storing in as, as HTML files to to the games folder. By the way, I need to rename this to games html for those who would be who would like to try this at home yeah and games html is that correct yeah games html and then uh i'm reading the games uh from games html extracting the event red black move list well now move list is tricky so uh, and then I'm uh, running the routines from the original DPXQ decoder. So I, I've just grabbed three functions from the original source code that is used here uh, uh, in this iframe. So all, all the, they all, all the guys, they just uh, reusing this simple JavaScript code to, to view this uh, sensor diagrams. So I've grabbed three essential functions to decode moves uh, from the move list into either this international or uh, traditional formats. And now the very least, uh, so the HTML itself, so this is how it looks like. So you see like we we can extract the title, the event. Well, I didn't extract the teams. I, I think that's not appropriate. That, that that might be easily added to the script. It's, it's not a big deal. So just, just add in a couple more lines of code down below here like this. But here instead of red, black, we just use red team, black team. That's it, so it's quite pretty simple. I just don't see much sense for doing that. If you guys do, feel free to alter the source code for your own needs. So, uh, but the most essential things, thing is this one, is this string. So here we have a move list encoded into this weird integers, but fortunately, uh, all of these routines down below, this three routines actually taking that uh, move string as an input, it happens right over in here so move list so I'm uh, so this move list this variable I just extract whatever we have in between this ta uh, sorry in between of this tag and uh, and this one so all this move list so all, all th th this is treated to be a string so all this moves and they just pass to the function get move list string which is the original which is from the original decoder and in return and it returns uh, either 
this like string for international encoding or this like string for traditional encoding. So quite pretty simple. And again, like now the only thing I need to do is simply to convert uh, this sort of annotation to, 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 to the UCI annotation to be able to, or to view these games uh, in my app. Uh, I'm not really sure about how, how exactly am I, uh, am I about to be hosting uh, the data, so probably store this all, all, all this stuff into G, into JavaScript file and download to the browser would be a little bit of a pain, 50 megabytes <laughs> at a time, that, that's a little bit too much. So probably I'll create a simple API, uh, not sure how exactly, well, I will probably reuse my Python environment that I have a free, in, uh, I have a free environment and pythonanywhere.com where one of my engines running, so probably just make uh, another API and point there and just uh, store the file locally because I, I can use the database because in that case I need to pay for Python anywhere to get an access to the outer sources like MongoDB or something and dealing with its own uh, uh, MySQL database that's a little bit of a pain that's too much I, I just that's I, I don't like uh, I don't need complications where where I don't need complications so st storing stuff into a single file and reading from a single file seems to be uh, fine, but I don't even know. Maybe maybe it's not a good idea. So it, it all depends on whether I'm about uh, whether, whether I'm going to sort these games or what in particular am I going to be doing with them. So well, maybe uh, maybe initializing uh, SQLite database might have been the case. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably initializing the SQLite database could be. Could be an interesting idea, so just to avoid uh, uh, all of those weird hostings, but still be, being capable capable of using the SQL syntax. So didn't didn't yet take a decision because uh, I can't yet imagine how how the end product would look like. But anyway, we have the data, so I'm happy to share this data with you guys absolutely for free. I hope uh, no copyrights violations because it seems to be an open source domain. Well, if if someone does, if, if someone disagree with me, well, we will, I don't know. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope no one would disagree because this is really a, a treasure for people and I think people should, uh, should actually own this treasure because people has created this and hence people can use it. So uh, again, like, uh, I just elder this, uh, just fixed this uh, issue with, with the spaces after moves and then I'll share the eventual version with you guys. So this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Uh, game viewer is coming soon, I hope. Until the next time, and take care.